My name's uh, Trevadian Oliver, I'm a DOP. I work predominantly in sort of British TV comedy. What filmmaking tools do you use on set the most? These are bits of kit for being a DP. I mean, uh, I always take my light meter with me. I mean, I used to use it, you know, I use it more on film because you really got to rely on it. Where, you know, digitally on Sony Venice's and Alexa's and everything, you can, you're judging a lot of stuff off monitors. Well, look, but I always like to have a light meter because it gives you that kind of, uh, you could go into, if I'm doing a big party scene in a room and you want to check that you've got a very even spread all over the place, so you've got kind of um, enough light in the corner for them going through there, it's, you know, instead of just kind of getting the camera to pan around and check all the waveform monitors on the monitor, I can just walk around with a light meter and I can make sure that I've got enough ambience in the areas that I need. The number's always right, so you know what you're getting. So I use a light meter quite, quite a lot. I use Artemis an awful lot on the iPhone because it's just so much quicker than getting a finder up and changing a prime lens, showing the director, what about that? And they go, well, could we just be another, you know, another eight mil wider so the lens off, you know, with Artemis, you can sit there, I can go, this is a 15, this is da -da 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 -da. Artemis is an app that will just recreate. So you put in your camera, uh, all your settings and the lenses you're using. It's got a huge database of all the lenses you can possibly, possibly want. And once those are in, you can just toggle between them so it just crops and, and jumps in. Admittedly, you know, when you're kind of showing an example that's kind of 200 mil, it's a grainy image because you're just jumped in on the chip. But you can see the size. So it's really handy for directors that are kind of, uh, say, more kind of performance based that are not quite sure sometimes how it should look and, until they see it. That, so you can kind of you can you can walk around with it and you can kind of do like a steady cam move or a moving move and say we can come in on this you like that size and then you can just change up and down so you, it's a real quick shorthand way of getting to the point so you can kind of get through all that kind of mulling around process quite quickly in bizarre remote locations you haven't got to bring laptops and you know you, you can kind of chew it out there and then. Yeah. pretty much with what you've got on your phone so you it gives you that kind of head start so when you when you do actually start shooting